I call this ransomware the silent ransomware because it doesn't communicate, it doesn't talk. As you will see in the analysis in this video, this ransomware, once it, once it hits or infects the victim PC, it doesn't do anything other than encrypting the files and dropping the ransomware node. Usually, ransomware communicates with a C2 server. It's a server that is under the control of the attacker to send commands and to exfiltrate data from the victim PC. Now, this interface is sold to everyone who wants to buy the ransomware and everyone who plans to send it to victims. And we see links to Tor sites because they end with .onion. And we see the threat, as you may have noticed by now, all of your files were encrypted and stolen. So we see here these actions uh, sum up to reconnaissance activity. So basically, uh, the ransomware starts by gathering information such as the supported language, the computer name, information about the registry, and the machine your ID from the registry. Also, it creates files or folders in the user directory. Basically, it is the ransomware node. If you click on this, we can have, we can see the uh, files that are created. We can see the readme haes.txt, which is the ransomware node. It is created in more than one directory, increasing the chances the user sees uh, the node. And we see the actions or the behavior activities categorized as malicious. So all these activities are categorized as belonging to uh, the Mamuna ransomware. Among these behavior activities, we see the actual encryption process. Renames files like ransomware. You can see the process of the ransomware here. And we see connections to uh, using port 80, suggesting a web browsing activity, but the IP address that connects to it looks internal IP address. So maybe this is a, uh, a way to hide or to obfuscate the fact that the malware or the ransomware does not perform any network communication. This is just to uh, maybe uh, distract the analyzing on HTTP requests. And we search for the process. And again, we do not see any indication that the ransomware process conducting any network activity or connection to any C2 server. That's why I call this the silent ransomware. So quickly, what I did, I would go to the search and click on program text. And for me, I write encrypt, select program database, select all fields and search all and as you can see we have a lot of hits at the end before we wrap up remember that SOC teams or as a SOC team you can start using anyone by signing up an account so you can sign up an account for all your team all your SOC team or maybe uh, sign up an individual account if you want to try it out fill in your name the business email of, the, of your company the password accept the reviews and then start using uh, any rep